Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to Bridges. I'm your host, Rafi Abdulmalik. As usual, we have Dr. Najee Al Fadj joining us in the studio today. We've been talking about the oneness of Allah. We've been discovering the truth, uh, the truth about one God. Assalamu alaikum, Doctor. Wa alaikum salam to Allah wa barakatuh. Thanks for joining us in the studio today. It's my pleasure, brother. You're more than welcome. Well, as you know, we've been discussing the oneness of Allah. We've looked at everything. We're actually discovering the truth together. I want to take this time, Doctor, to define the words that we may hear in Islam. As a non-Muslim, we may hear words such as Allah, uh, Muhammad. What do these words mean? Let's define these words. Let's take a look, you know, and, and show what does Muhammad or what does Allah mean and the definitions of these words. But let's begin by talking, you know, we talk briefly about Allah and we discovered, you know, who is Allah. As a non-Muslim, Doctor, Previously, I was. Who, who is Allah? Is He God? Uh, who, who, who are we praying to? Talking about Allah mm -hmm. in Islam, usually we say in the name of Allah, mm -hmm. the most gracious, okay. the most merciful. This yes. is a good thing to start with. Yes. So I start saying that Bismillah rahman rahim mm -hmm. in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is my deep happiness that I, I share with you talking about Islam and the definitions concerning yes. Islam as well as other terms and names yes. in Islam. We are interested to share this knowledge with others out of love. Okay, compassion. And, and out of compassion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Knowledge is power. Yes particularly when we talk with non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. We are not attacking their religions. We not are true. not putting down their religions. Mm -hmm. We just build bridges with them yes. to understand us better. Discovering to have, the truth. To discover more about us from authentic sources. Yes. This is what we are trying to do in this program. Yes. Allah. Who is Allah? Exactly. When a non-Muslim listens or reads the word Allah, mm -hmm. what does it mean? Allah in Arabic, it means what? It means the name or the one true God. So in Arabic, Allah is the name of the one true God, the creator. Islam, Islam teaches us that Allah is the one true God for all mankind. So when we say Allah mm. or we use Allah, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it is only restricted to Muslims. Excellent point there, Doctor. So you, what you're saying again is it's not restricted. It's definitely Allah is the God for everyone, not just a particular group. SubhanAllah. Exactly. To some, you know, to some non-Muslims who mm. are who do not speak Arabic, okay. they might they might be surprised to know that. Jewish and Christian Arabs mm. use the name Allah. Yes. Here in Egypt, for example, mm. the you know the Christians, mm -hmm. the Coptics, they, they use yes. the word Allah. Yes. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. Allahu Akbar. Uh -huh. They use it. Yes. The the Christians in, in Lebanon, in in other countries, the Jews in in Palestine mm. or anywhere mm. in uh, more specifically in in those countries okay. speaking arabic mm. they use the word allah subhanallah to refer to him okay the true god it's a good point now doctor so you know we found we're discovering out that the the, the the name allah is used by jews and christians it's the the, the name of god in arabic exactly mm. as i mentioned in a previous uh, session okay the word Allah is an Arabic word. Mm. In Hebrew, we have something similar to it. Mm. It sounds like Allah. Mm. In, in the Bible, for example, in the Old Testament, yes. they have words like Elohim. Yes. Alu, Elohim. Yes. It shows um, this is like a majestic term uh -huh. for Allah. Okay. A majestic mm. name for Allah. In, in the Bible, in the New Testament, we can trace Jesus, peace be upon him, saying when he was put
put on the cross, mm. according to the Bible, mm -hmm. according to the Bible, it says what? That Jesus was put on the cross okay. and, he, and he cried. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. The Bible states there, mm -hmm. which means, my God, yes. my God, why have you, why have you forsaken me? Uh -huh. Eli, Eli. In Arabic we say it, Ilahi, Ilahi. It is very similar yes. in terms of the sound. The sound and the pronunciation is quite similar, Doctor, yes. On the other hand, for those who go to the church, mm -hmm. they usually shout or praise God saying what? Alleluia, hallelujah, mm. or alleluia. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Alo, yes. alleluia. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Subhanallah. Praise God. Yes. Allah. Allahu. So we can trace this, this the, I mean, the root of this mm. word in Hebrew as well as in Arabic as we have it. Uh, now we are talking about yes. it. Okay, now let's go to what you have asked about. How about Muhammad? Okay. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Usually we say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to show respect. Yes. To show love. And that's an all prophet, not just Muhammad. Exactly, my dear okay, brother. And when we sorry, mention doctor. the mm -hmm. names like Noah, mm -hmm. Abraham, mm -hmm. Moses, Jesus, mm -hmm. we say peace be upon them. That's what I was just going to say, Doctor. It, it's crucial that we, we must point out, even when we say Jesus, we're going to say, Salah Salam. It's, it's better to say. We yes. love them. Yes, of we course. We love them. We respect them. Yes. We believe in them. Mm -hmm. It is an article of faith mm -hmm. to believe in, in those prophets. If we deny Moses, if we deny Jesus, mm -hmm. we deny Muhammad. Okay. Why? Because... The source, mm, the source, the true God, is the same source. Okay. He is the same one who sent all those prophets and messengers right. to mankind. That's subhanAllah. Doctor, we talked about um, briefly um, about who is Jesus previously. I want to find out who is Muhammad. I mean, we found out about Jesus and such things. Can we find Muhammad mm -hmm. written in the Bible or the Torah? or the Quran. Can we find Muhammad's uh, a statement saying, uh, Muhammad, I am the last prophet, or, I mean, is it in the Bible? Does it say Muhammad? Does it say it in the, uh, the, the Torah? This is a very interesting point mm -hmm. that we can discuss Great. in you know, upcoming episodes. Excellent. We have prophecies, mm -hmm. many prophecies mm -hmm. in the Bible about the coming or the upcoming of a prophet, okay. a prophet, mm -hmm who is Muhammad okay. and we can you know allocate a complete session or complete episode okay. for the prophecies mm. in the Bible about the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. but please let me go and define or yes. talk about the person or the personality of Muhammad Great. who was Muhammad we say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muhammad is the last prophet of the one true God, mm. Allah, sent to all mankind. Okay. So Muhammad وسلم, was sent to Muslims and non-Muslims, all mankind, Christians, Jews, Buddhists, Hindus, you name it. Mashallah. So Muhammad وسلم, was sent to all mankind, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And this is the meaning of what we are uttering. Yes. May Allah's Blessings, may Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. Great. Okay, how about Islam? Okay. We hear the word Islam. On the media, mm. they usually talk about Islam in a negative way. Yes. Do you agree with me, Brother? I, I have to agree with you, Doctor. Even before, non, as I was a non-Muslim before, we, we perceived Islam. We didn't even know it was a religion. It was just, you know, all the time bad doctor okay now let's let's go and discover more about islam okay islam means submission mm. to who we submit to who to muhammad to our race okay to our nationality mm. we submit to the one true god the one true god the creator allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how about a muslim 
Okay. Who is a Muslim? A Muslim is one who submits to the will of the true God, Allah, the Creator. Okay. Now, let me ask. So, if we hear or we read mm. about Muslims in Spain or in Germany mm. or in India okay. or in the United States or in UK, yes. does that mean that Islam or Muslims only here or there or for all? Any person, any person, he or she, okay. if they submit to the will of God, they bow down to, to Allah, mm -hmm. they keep His commandments, okay. they are called Muslims. SubhanAllah. Mm -hmm. In Arabic, it means khudu' taslim. Okay. Khudu' taslim, it, it can be translated as surrender. Okay. If you surrender, say, I surrender. SubhanAllah. But we surrender to who? Yes, of course. Let me just ask you, Doctor, the word Muslim, does it indicate, you know, a word of peace, submission, as we've discussed earlier? Beautiful. This is another beautiful dimension for mm. the word Islam. Mm -hmm. Islam, at the same, I mean, one level, yes. one, at, the, at one level, uh -huh. at a linguistic level, mm -hmm. it means submission. Okay. At another level, at, at a religious level, Spiritual level, mm. it means what? It means attaining the peace of mind. When you submit, yes. when you submit your will to the true God, this will lead you to the peace of mind. Of course. This is another important aspect that you uh, touched upon. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you. Let me finish with this very important one. Mm. How about the Quran, the, glori the glorious Quran? The glorious Quran is the final word. It is the final word of the one true God, Allah, revealed to who? Revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. SubhanAllah. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. That's all we have time for right now. Well, thank you for watching at home. Stay tuned. We're just going to take a short break. Join us shortly. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And a very warm welcome back to Bridges. I'm your host, Rafi Abdul Malik. Before the break, we took a look at definitions, the words that we find in Islam. If you don't know them, we discovered what popular words and the definitions, what do they actually mean? We discovered that. And the program's all about discovering the truth, the oneness of Allah. I want to actually go into depth. I want to actually go into the core of Islam. We're taking a look at everything about Christianity, Judaism and Islam. However, our mission is to give you the truth, the viewers at home. We want to find out the actual truth about Islam. Doctor, thank you for joining me again. Well. We were talking about definitions before the break. We, we took a look at, you know, the definitions and the book you've actually written um, about the, the, the definitions, which we can find on the website. You know, it, it gives in-depth insight of the definitions of Islam, mm -hmm. the Quran, Allah, Muhammad. And we talked about all those things and what they actually mean. However, we've taken a look over the past few programmes about the oneness of Allah. However, I want to now look at the core of Islam. I want to actually go into the depth of Islam. What are the questions, the, the most questions asked by people, or how can we reveal the truth? Beautiful. Islam answers humanity's questions. Mm -hmm. Islam is from God, okay. the true God, the creator. Okay. And he is the one who knows all things about us. Mm -hmm. He he has the answers yes. for our questions. Okay. He knows what is in our hearts. Mm -hmm. He knows what is in our minds and and heads. Of course. So he is the creator. Mm -hmm. He is the founder. Mm -hmm. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glory be to him. There are many questions okay. that humans were and still asking mm -hmm. throughout ages, okay. throughout the history. Let's go to discuss some of humanity's critical questions. Great. For example, they ask, what is the truth? Okay. What do you mean by what, what is the truth? The truth about the religion or God? Mm -hmm. This is a very big question. Mm, mm. What is the truth 
concerning the Creator. Okay. Concerning the universe. Yes. Concerning our existence. Yes. So it is a big, a very big question. Exactly. That millions of people have been asking and still asking, what is the truth? Correct, Doctor. I, that was the very first question I asked. What is the truth? Please tell me the truth. It, it, it's, it's a magnificent question, Doctor. We are trying our best in this program to share the truth that we know Inshallah. with others. So the, this question, this question, mm. as I said, each religion claims mm -hmm. that, that he has the truth. Christians claim that they have the truth. Jews or the Jews in general claim that the truth is theirs. Okay. Similarly, Muslims believe that the truth is theirs. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. Okay. Let's, as I said before, let's base our, you know, uh, finding, let's base our search on a scholarly approach. Okay, sure. A comparative one. Yes. Comparative approach. Excellent. So what is the truth? There are other questions. Let me just please go over them. Yes, of course. And then I will discuss each question Excellent. separately. Yes. Another question. Who created us? Good question, Doctor. Who created us? Yes. Another big question. Some might think, some might believe that yes. nature. Of course. Some might think that X or Y is the one who created them. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. Who created us? Another or a third question. Who is our true God? So after knowing the creator, mm -hmm. we go down asking about the, you know, the, the, the one who, who should be worshipped. Yes. The true God to be taken as a, deit, a deity. Of course. Okay. Now how about this question? Who is God's final prophet? Do we have a final prophet? What is his name? Okay. So who, who is the final prophet from the true God? We will discuss these questions Great. and try our best to answer them all in this program. Declose the, declose the, the information. We want to find out who is the last prophet, mashallah. Another main question. Mm -hmm. Whom should we worship? Yes. Should we worship Jesus, Muhammad, mm -hmm. Buddha, Krishna, mm -hmm. Rama, or who? Of course. So this is another big topic. Topic. Of course, Doctor, because, you know, that's the question. Who do we actually pray to? A question I asked, all these questions, that are, you know, are relevant to us right now. These are the questions that w I figured out. And, you know, these are the questions that I asked. And we're going to find out this is this is you know great for, for non-Muslims and newly reverted Muslims to find out the information, Doctor. Alhamdulillah. Another question: Who are we? Mm -hmm. Who are we? What is the reason? What is the purpose mm -hmm. behind our existence? It's if we say we are humans, mm -hmm. but okay. Why are we here? Yes. This might lead me. To another question, why are we here? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose? Of course. What is the goal behind our existence? Mm -hmm. Another question, what comes after death? This is a very big question. Yes. In Islam, we believe that this life is very short. Yes. How many years do you want to live, brother? Inshallah, as, as many as Allah gives me. <laughs> as many as Allah gives me. Inshallah, I'm happy. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So some might like to live 70 years or 90 years, mm -hmm. but they will reach a cutoff point. An end. Mm -hmm. Death comes. Yes. So what is after death? Of course. This is another big question. Of course. In Islam, we have the answer. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Let's discover more. Or this, let's let's share more questions. What is what is the next life like? Okay. So when we die, what is how about the second life? Mm. Is it short? Is it temporary? Is it eternal? How about 
paradise? How about hell? How about yes. those who believed in God? Those who dis disbelieved in God? There are many questions. Subhanallah. So, Doctor, what you're actually saying that we're discovering that, you know, there's a next life in Islam and it could either be heaven or hell, depending on, you know, your good deeds and how, how you are as a Muslim. And we've talked how to be submissive to Allah, the one God. Ex exactly. Now, let me go to another significant yes. question. That is, what is our last destination? <laughs> how about our last destination? Yes. Do you want my dear brother, my dear sister, to go to paradise as your last destination? Inshallah. Or you want to go to somewhere else? May God save us from hellfire. Inshallah. So all of us mm -hmm. try our best to reach where? To reach paradise. Yes. The eternal life. Mm -hmm. This is what we are trying to do in this okay. program, to share the truth to talk about the truth mm. and seek the truth. Great. Jesus said, seek the truth yes. and the truth will set you free. Of course. Doctor, I want to ask you though, let's say for example, let me just use a rough example. If we have a, a person from the UK, as I'm from the UK, okay, and they're just watching the TV program and they're just looking, oh, what's this? What's this program? Let me just switch the TV on and switch the volume up. Mm. We have a shirk, we have a presenter, they're talking about Islam. What is Islam? What is the first step? What, from your heart, how would you guide them to say, okay, find the truth? What would be the very first step? Even, let's say they don't, they're not a very bad person, however, they don't follow Islam, but they want to pray to God, and they don't know, where do I go? Who do I speak to? Mm -hmm. What is the very first step you would advise them from your heart as, as a Muslim? And you, because we've discussed that you want, we all want as Muslims, the peace that we have for the, the world. So if we have a viewer at home or anywhere in the world, if they're, you know, at work, at school, anywhere, and they are thinking about it, religion, discovering Islam, what would be the first message or give them the direction? Where would you start, Doctor? From my heart, yes. I tell them, from your heart, sincerely pray to God, oh God, guide me to you. Oh, my true God, lead me to your true path. So pray from, you know, the deepest part yes. in your heart, yes. sincerely, honestly, mm -hmm. pray to him. If you can even, you know, cry, mm -hmm. try your best to have some tears there out of fear, out of hope mm -hmm. that you find the truth. Then, this is the first you know, point. The second point, try to read about, uh, about Islam from authentic sources. Hello. You can go to the closest Islamic center mm -hmm. nearby you, yes. or you can go to some you know, websites, like yes. Islamic websites. I can also put my websites. It's, if you go to the website, yes. you put Naji al-Arfaj, or you put, for example, Discover Islam, yes. or you know, I can put my website, www.abctruth.org. That would be great. That would be so great. So they can find more authentic information about the truth. Great. So another main question to conclude with, Islam gives us the answer for how can we attain true peace of mind, mm. success, and real happiness. Excellent. So. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. We'll take a look next time in depth at all those questions. That's all we have time for right now. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. It's my pleasure. You're more than welcome. Well, thank you very much for watching at home. I guess today we've actually went into depth about Islam. We're figuring about the oneness of Allah, the true path. Until next time, as alaikum.